Hi guys and welcome back to It's a Twin Thing. Um, today I'm going to be talking about food cravings and nausea as um, one of the symptoms of pregnancy, um, especially in twin pregnancies. Um, so with my journey, in the beginning of the journey, um, I suffered from nausea, um, quite bad in the first trimester. Um, so I didn't actually vomit, but it was just that ongoing feeling of um, feeling nauseous in the morning, in the day, in the evening. It wasn't just a morning sickness type thing. Um, and then as time went on, I started getting cravings. I remember one day specifically, my husband was out and about and I rang him and asked him if he could grab me an apple cake on the way home, which is not something that I normally would have had. Um, but it, nonetheless, he brought home an apple cake and I ate it and I loved it and 10 minutes later I threw it up. Um, so I come to understand that one of the babies was a sweet tooth and one wasn't, uh, which I struggled with because I'd be craving sugar and, um, and then vomiting sugar. Basically one thing in particular that I could not stomach throughout the entire pregnancy was ice cream. Um, my husband and I aren't really sweet tooth. We're, we're both quite savory yet ice cream is probably one thing that he enjoys and it was one thing I couldn't stomach. Um, and then through my second trim, trimester, um, the nausea sort of subsided a bit, which was good. Um, and the, yeah, so the cravings then began and they were quite absurd. Um, I had a really big craving for rice bubbles. I loved rice bubbles any time of the night, any time of the day, rice bubbles was my go-to as well as steamed dim sims. Um, yeah, very random. I enjoyed dim sims prior to being pregnant, but not to the degree that I did when I was pregnant. Um, the other funny thing was I, prior to being pregnant, I wasn't fond of cream or bacon or anything like that, but you know, fettuccine carbonara is something my husband enjoyed and during the pregnancy, if we went out for dinner, that was what I would order. And um, yeah, and then the other the other main thing that I found that I was craving was um, licorice bullets, and I can cannot stand licorice, so <laughs> it was very interesting. But in saying that, now my daughter is quite a sweet tooth, and my son is very savoury, so that sort of makes sense. Um, but throughout the process of the pregnancy, the nausea did subside. Um, in the second trimester and the third it was more just food cravings and watching what I was eating and making sure certain things didn't trigger the nausea um, but the one thing I did find that helped with the nausea throughout the pregnancy was um, fresh fruit uh, it didn't make it go away but it did help take a little bit of the edge off so um, everyone's different. I think, you know, all women um, experience different things during their pregnancy. Some women don't even experience nausea or morning sickness or all day sickness. Um, so I'm quite blessed in that regard. But um, if you do and this helps, then hopefully I can shed some light. Um, yeah, so that's that was the topic for today. And on Monday, I'll be talking about it's, uh, it's called PUPS, which is a rash that a lot of twin pregnant women can, can get um, in the stretch marks. So I'll touch on that. Um, but have a great weekend, guys. I hope you stay well. Um, and I'll see you on Monday. Cheers. Bye.